Good afternoon to all you beautiful seniors, both at home and abroad, of La Divina Pastora. Welcome, welcome to you all on this beautiful afternoon. I welcome you to an evening of entertainment just for you seniors. I am Gail Barnard and I am your host for the evening. 2020 has made us do things very differently and today's activity is no exception. This morning, we would have had our mass celebrated by Father Elon. Additionally, at lunchtime, you would have had a beautiful, sumptuous meal prepared by Jacqueline and her team. Now, we move to the entertainment segment of the day and we have a packed program especially for you. So, I invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy all that we have prepared just for our beautiful people of, of La Divina Pastora. Seniors, I'm sure you remember Mr. Claude Bacchus. He used to do yeoman service for us here at La Divina Pastora. Well, I can't bring back Mr. Bacchus, but I have instead a clone in his youngest son, David Bacchus. David inherited his father's skill as a craftsman, as well as his beautiful, melodious voice. And right now, here to thrill you with his voice, he is going to do the classic, timeless Ave Maria. It is a favorite at Christmas time and at other times of the year. So, let's enjoy Mr. David Bacchus to thrill you with Ave Maria. <laughs> Peccatoribus 
Thank you so much David that was truly touching now we have a representative of the youth in Mr. Kyle Degans Kyle is well known for his spoken word which is always so insightful and always on point Kyle has an uncanny way of capturing our lives here in Trinidad even though right now he lives in Canada where he's a student at Holy Trinity High School studying to be a physiotherapist. If you listen carefully to this spoken word, you'll realize that it is a cry of pain. But, as always, his spoken word offers hope. Hope, especially in a time like this. Again, Separia family is well represented. Mr. Paul DeGans, we hear you. Miss Angela, we hear you. Miss Green, we hear you. Welcome, people. Mr. Kyle DeGans with his spoken word piece. I personally cannot listen to news anymore. Murders on a daily newspaper's headlines can never be worse. Every night, at six o'clock when the television in my home projects these images and sounds you would swear just a rebroadcast from last night or their record is stuck man shut that man shut that man gone down man gone down we plead with criminals to put the guns down but it's hard because ever since they were growing up they wanted to run blocks own clocks have trucks loaded with drugs and little did we know their gang leader started criminal activities when he was locked out of church doors all he ever wanted was something to live for. Family was dysfunctional. Neighborhood is a mess. These things forced him to care less and less. So now within his gang, he finally found a brotherly love. 
was all he ever aimed for. The cries of mothers damaged my eardrums because in non rhythmic gunshots kill their children. And society is here to feed us dreams, and I am not hungry, especially for what they are offering. They boast about the pavements they build, but not one kept the youths off of the streets. Install more traffic lights, yet more human and drug trafficking. More arms, less hugs. They build in programs for the so called good people. When they see the delinquents who are really in need of it. Why you think it's like that on the hills of Lavantil? You can't enter their communities because they were often blocked from some of ours. I am here seeing leaders throwing verbal combos, wondering what is their real deal. Claiming they are doing so much good, but there are always two sides to a story. Where is the love to everyone equally? Allow it to flow directly through everyone for a great change fully. Let's rebuild communities with positive values such as discipline, tolerance, and produce better youths into great adults by reintroducing new clubs and camps. Let us as a people put away our past and grow. In every creed and race feel the affection and love they deserve. These are things our God above in which we serve wants to see. You know, occurrences for the victory. Thank you. Wow, fantastic, Kyle. I'm sure you were all mesmerized by this piece. Now, I have a little something to get you up and moving. Get those joints lubricated. I want to see you dancing clear the living room make space why because i have now a saxophonist Taylor charles for him music is life he is playing sometimes now sometimes it's a 2020 soca piece so we have to really get dancing it is made popular by lead pipe and just g this little bit of music will make you want to move up your body. So let's get going and let's welcome Mr. Taylor Charles on the saxophone. Wow! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and had you jumping with that one very beautiful rendition okay so now we're gonna get a little more sober we're gonna cool down a little bit this gentleman who is coming up now is very special to me he now resides in maryland where he attends the university of maryland he has been playing the violin since he's a little child and he's indeed a very accomplished and gifted musician the piece that he has chosen is a more contemporary piece that has touched so many lives in the last few years. Again, this gentleman, Mr. Tijor Quash, is representing La Divina Pastora stalwarts in the persons of the Amor family, the Quash slash the Suze family. Welcome, Mr. Tijor Quash, playing on the violin. Mary, did you know? So much Tijor for that soothing piece. It has a way of moving me to tears. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, well, 
You've heard the son. Now get ready for the father. A booming bass voice in the person of none other than Mr. Paul DeGans. Mr. DeGans is going to do a favorite Christmas carol, Mary's Boy Child. It's a tune to have you humming and singing along. Well, let's warm up those voices a little bit. Let's hear these sopranos, altos, basses, tenors, any other voice? Okay, so I want you to join Paul while he's singing Mary's Boy Child. Let's welcome him. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. And men will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible said, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And we'll live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. My shepherds watch their flocks by night. They see a bright new shining star. They hear a choir sing a song. The music seemed to come from afar. Up no hear the angels sing, a king was born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to all. All my loved ones who I know and who I may get to know. This is such a beautiful time of the year. Now Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They found no place to bear her child. Not a single room was in sight. And then they found a little dog in a stable all forlorn. And in a manger cold and dark, Mary's little boy was born. Hark now hear the angels sing, a king was born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day Well done Paul I'm sure you had a time with that lovely carol not so now, we move back to the spoken word. I have, just for you ladies and gentlemen out there, this very talented little lady. Now a UWE undergrad in biochemistry and biology. None other than the inimitable Miss Coriel Sylvester. Hiena, you remember all those words of wisdom from your granny? By the way, what you used to call your granny? Grandma, mama, we used to call our grandmother, mother. Well, Coriel has a special spin on all those words of wisdom from your granny. 
And in this piece, she asks you to listen well. Why? Because a word to the wise is sufficient. So let's welcome Miss Coriel Sylvester. Granny says, all skin teeth and her green. Because she know the same friends that you love so much. I really have the best interest for you, darling. Granny says, friends will carry you, but the egg will bring you back. Because she know the boy that you're liming with does dealing drugs. And only his family have the money to bail him out when things go south. Granny says, Say your prayers because she know the evil that always lurking out there. And she know that prayers was the only thing protecting her throughout these years. Granny says, no ring, no thing. Because she know how hard it is to be single parenting. Granny says, don't worry, God will provide because she has been through hell and back and she still survived. Granny says, patience is a virtue because she didn't reach where she was overnight and neither will you. Granny says, don't take God out of your thoughts because the devil is a liar and this world is full of his cohorts. Granny says all these things not to inconvenience you, but because she was no little Miss Goody Two Shoes and she don't want you to make the same mistakes as she did. She want the best for her grandkids. So do less stick break in your ears and listen to what your grandmother have to say. She loves you. And make sure and call her and tell her that you also love her today. Well, I know Corey had all your smiling as you remembered all that she was talking about. Yes, man. Thank you so much, Coriel. Well, long time. When you turn on your radio before Christmas, what kind of songs do you used to hear? Things like, there's no place like home for the holidays and Frosty the Snowman and Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells and Listen Mama and of course, Silver Bells. Well, our next piece is by a musician extraordinaire playing both the steel pan and the guitar. His name is Livon Lord. I want you to remember that name very well. Livon is a student of Ontario Tech University and he is studying, guess what? Astrophysics. Well, right now he's going to take you to another level altogether with his beautiful rendition of Silver Bells. So let's welcome Mr. Livon Lord playing Silver Bells. Thank you. 
Wow, how did you enjoy that piece? Brought back some good memories, not so? Thank you, Livon. Keep it up. Now, just for you seniors at La Divina Pastora, I have two of my favorite people. Miss Carice Marie Rollins on vocals and Mr. Kyle Peters on the guitar. Well, the piece that Carice has chosen is a new song, but it is just so touching. It always makes me want to shed a tear or two. Jesus Born on This Day, made popular by Mariah Carey. And to do absolute justice to that song, a very moving rendition of Jesus Born on This Day by Miss Carice Marie Rollins. Let's welcome her.
What did I tell you? Wasn't it absolutely just fantastic? Wow, thank you so much, Kyle and Carice Marie. Well, Christmas is not Christmas without parang. Trini Christmas can't be complete without some parang. So, vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Vamos a cantar un poquito de paranda. Right. This is one of my favorite Christmas pieces. Anda paranderos. So, we have Juan Plaza y su hermana mayor, Caterina Plaza Sirju. Both members of the Victorious Voices 7 a.m. choir. And John and his sister Catherine are going to sing Anda Paranderos. Vámonos, 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 vámonos. Ay, ay. Buena música pa cantar, buena música pa gozar. Vamos todo el mundo a bailar con los Opa. I can imagine all of you. Yes, that's what I like to see. You were jumping, you were dancing, you were singing. Thank you so much, Catherine and John. Well, member of this member of the La Divina Pastora Parang Group, music tutor and producer. And as far as I'm concerned, the most gifted mandolin player in Trinidad and Tobago. None other than Mr. Lloyd Gilbert. So we're coming up, we're ending with a bang. Because 
Can you imagine what song Mr. Gilbert is going to play? Jerusalem. Yes, man. You know how popular that is for 2020? And he's going to do it with a paran cover. You know the moves. I hope you know the moves. So up you go. Get up. No more sitting down. Everybody throw away the wheelchair. Throw away the walker. Let's go. Vamonos with Mr. Lloyd Gilbert. Jerusalem on the mandolin. Mr. Lloyd, thank you for having us dancing. I'm sure we got a chance to put in all those Jerusalem moves. Yes, man. And with Parang at that. Thank you so much. Well, all good things must come to an end. And indeed, we have come to the end of a most beautiful day. A most beautiful, glorious day. I hope our seniors really had a great time. We want to thank especially... 
We want to thank especially all those who have performed this evening. All the performers, all the accompanists, all those who would have made this beautiful program so possible. I want to tell you all a very hearty gracias, muchísimas gracias, merci beaucoup to Miss Jacqueline and her team for having that beautifully well-organized luncheon. Thank you so much, Miss Jacqueline. And of course, this couldn't be possible without our media team because we had to make sure that everything was done online. Thank you so much, media team, and continue your good work. Of course, nothing is possible without God. And we want to thank Almighty God for this beautiful, beautiful day. Well, it's time for me now to say goodbye to you. I am Gail Barnard saying muchísimas gracias. Adios. Hasta la vista. We'll see each other next year. Please, God. <laughs>